So initially, uh, you might be looking at this and thinking, well, you know, the, this uh, is a lot different from the form where we actually made this um, request. We had sent over some data and on the key up, we, we queried to the server. But it's actually not that much different. We're still making that AJAX request and all we're doing is whenever the page or the website initiates, we're just calling over this function. And essentially that's all that we've got within here. We've got only this HTML set up to do, um, so this is our essentially our container, our output container, where through JavaScript we can output HTML within this container. And then within the script tags, what we've got is we're just calling this function and now this is where the Ajax actually loads the page. So we're not going to be waiting for um, for any, any kind of trigger to launch this function. We want this function to run right away and populate all that information uh, from the JSON file right into our HTML for the, for the viewer to be able to see it in the browser. And we don't actually have to send any information over because this again, this is a JSON file that we're picking up and we're pulling back into our JavaScript in order to use it and build out that HTML page. And that's what we're going to be going through in the later lessons, how we're building out this inner HTML and how we're uh, making that and uh, also some additional options that we can add into this quiz. Uh, so for now, um, what we're doing here, we're just connecting output uh, to get element by ID output. So again, if you're not familiar with the DOM, we do have another course that will walk you through how to use the DOM and how everything functions within the DOM. Uh, but for this lesson, it's just important to understand that we're setting up this variable and this is where we're gonna output our content, our HTML. Uh, so we're just using that down here later on and all this is doing is this is populating this div with this inner HTML. And this is where we're just looping through and building out that HTML. And then also, just like what we did before in the form, we're setting a variable that we're going to use our, our object. So again, we had it called Ajax request here. Here we've just called it Ajax, but again, you can name it anything you want as long as, um, just as long as it makes sense whenever you're reading through the code, so you're able to tie it back to, okay, well, this was Ajax, and this is what I was doing, or my Ajax request. And then much like what we had in the form, here we're looking for those XML HTTP request um, functions, and if that's available within that window, so it's available within the browser, it's gonna run through, so for all the modern browsers, this value is going to be true and if it's true then this condition is met and ajax equals new xml http request method and it's going to bring all that information in as an object and here uh, if it's not true so if it's not a modern browser and if this isn't available it's going to try to do an active x object and this should cover off, again, as we explained before, IE5 and IE6. And this is setting up that basic AJAX functionality. And after that, we're ready to go with the AJAX call that we're going to be walking through in the next lesson.